Friday night with Jason Harding. BBC Radio Manchester. It's Friday night, it's BBC Radio Manchester. How are you? Are you alright? I'm Jason Hardy with you in for Liam Bradford and uh, two uh, special artists for you. First of all, it is those very nice guys. Chuck and Feckle, hello! Hello, how are we? You alright? Yeah, fine, thank you, sir. Very good. Uh, Thank you very much uh, for coming along and uh, joining us on this uh, Friday night. Of course, uh, you're from uh, Wigan, very well known. Uh, For me... It's a new one for me. Okay. Um, I've heard a little bit about you, but I've never met you before. Uh, don't really know what kind of stuff you're going to play, so I'm really looking forward to a special treat this Friday. All right, right, no problem. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, for, for people like myself who might not really know you, just give me a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm Tim. Um, hey, I feel like I'm on one of these quiz shows now. <laughs> uh, 47 years? No, 46. I'll be 47 next time. Yeah. Uh, Born and bred in Wigan, and I met this fella over here, Les Hilton, at the Wigan Ukulele Club. Um, oh, seven years ago, I got a, a ukulele for me fortieth uh, birthday. Fabulous. Off, off my wife, right. I couldn't play it. Went down to Wigan Ukulele Club and um, saw Muggins. And after a few months, he <laughs> says, "I write these little songs. I want somebody with a gob to put a voice on." I said, "Well, you've heard me. I can't sing." He says, "You don't have to sing the stories, and you can do that for me." So we got together and. The rest, as they say, is uh, legendary. Is it? <laughs> as yeah. they say. As, as they, they say. say. And uh, very, very popular, I believe. Uh, well, we, we, we're known as... Uh for playing the ukulele on the sort of ukulele scene. Uh, oddly enough tonight, I've brought a three-string guitar. I was going to say, that's definitely not a ukulele, and <laughs> well, I'm they, not one into me instruments. No, but, uh, they said sort of purr it back, so instead of four strings, I've brought three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that box's original use was uh, what we prefer, really, isn't it? That, cause it was a cigar box originally, by the way, this instrument, if you can see it. Uh, it I, I, let me just move it, my... Uh, it works well on radio, yeah. this, yeah. So that used to be a cigar box. Seriously? Oh, yeah, that's exactly See, what I don't was. know whether you guys are winding up. It used to hold 20 that. cigars. No, there you go. It's even got oh, the imp- yeah, it's even got the... <laughs> the uh, import the, stickers the, on there. Absolutely. Yeah. That is fabulous. <laughs> so did you make that yourself, then? Somebody actually gave me this one. Right. They, they, they got hold of it. They didn't know how to play it, so they said learn this and show me what to do with it so it's, it's actually a gift somebody give it to me which is just as well because you wouldn't really want to buy something no. <laughs> look at that. that that's a bolt that yeah, is a yeah. bolt that yeah. is absolutely amazing in fact we're going to take a photograph of that and we'll put it on our facebook <laughs> yeah. page so you can actually <laughs> see what we're talking about here on a bbc radio manchester so how would you de- describe your music then they're Lancashire folk songs and they're about real people uh, mm. I spent 20 years driving a taxi and as a taxi driver you get to listen to a lot of conversations uh, <laughs> some you can repeat I was going to say about repeat. there's some songs you can't actually uh, write about and occasionally somebody would um, mention something that maybe reminded you of when you were uh, maybe younger or a saying or a phrase or something and in between jobs in quiet periods sat on the taxi rank i would take the ukulele and just construct these little songs you know that's and, I, and away you go that's pretty much how it how it is yeah Fantastic. and i know it was until very recently i might tell <laughs> <laughs> so uh because you were just saying you've uh, now given up the taxis like a couple of weeks back and yes, uh, you're um, relying on this now uh well I, i'm gonna re- try and get some more I, I already have a few people who come round for tuition and i do home recording and play various instruments as well mm. uh, as well as these cigar boxes uh, <laughs> guitar and banjo and uh, other things a bit of blues harmonica so are, the, are, are they easy instruments to uh, to teach are they easy to pick up uh, well, not, this, not off the ground as i'm pick up and the, play this particular <laughs> instrument would be easy to play because there's basically just two notes on it only two notes so you've not really got got a lot to get wrong there Uh, having said that what we're going to do tonight we've never actually done before (laughs) oh wow but we like tightrope walking sometimes you know okay well looking for you're going to be performing two songs yeah i believe Uh, what are the names of the songs we're going to hear Uh, well the first one (laughs) yeah (laughs) or or you haven't made it up yet (laughs) yeah well the first ones we have to do it basically it's the first one we ever worked on together it's uh, i'm from wigan me um a song about children it, okay. it is and then it got reworked last year for Wigan Athletic and they asked us to rework ah, it for the FA because they got right. through to the FA Cup yes. semi-finals twice 
And they'll never ask us again, because uh, <laughs> we've, been, we've been the kiss of death. Uh, if well, you see where Latin's I, I didn't want to say anything, yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> well, uh, uh, so you're going to perform that song first, are you? Yeah, uh, we'll try. Are yeah. you uh, all ready to do that right yeah, now? Sure, okay. Yeah, sure. OK. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So we do have some live music here <coughs> on BBC Radio Manchester. It is <coughs> Chuck and Feckle. Go on. The far. <laughs> Tell a lie, and I bet you're just like me. Now I got chucked out to the swimming baths. The attendant screamed in rage. I said, All oh, the kids are peeing in the water. He said, You were standing on top stage. And my mother sent me with a fiver. She said, Only spend a quid. I said, That's strange. I can't find my change. I must have dropped it down the grid. I'm full with good me. I'm honest as can be. I'm not one to tell a lie Cross me heart, up to die I'm from Wigan me I'm honest as can be No, I'm not one to tell a lie And I bet you're just like me And we got booted by a bobby once For pinching eggs from a bird's nest He was amazed that we all had the same names And we lived at the same address And I once gave my teacher a note Trying to explain why I'd been off bad she made me write it out 100 times Cos I signed it mum and dad I'm from Wigan me I'm honest as can be Though I'm not one to tell a lie Cross me heart, up to die I'm from Wigan me I'm honest as can be Though I'm not one to tell a lie And I bet you're just like me Today are just the same. They can't lie straight in bed. And as much as I love the little monkeys, I don't believe out they've ever said. Cos they're from Wigan as well. And as far as I can tell, well, they're just as straight as me, they're in. I've taught them well. I'm from Wigan, me. I'm honest as can be. No, I'm not one to tell a lie. Cross me heart, up to die. Wigan me, I'm honest as can be No, I'm not one to tell a lie And I bet you're just like me And I bet you're just like me And I bet you're just like me No, I'm not one to tell a lie I bet you're just like me Absolutely <laughs> fabulous! That was just brilliant. For the first uh, time on, we've done it on that one. <laughs> well done, excellent. I love that. I'm going to be singing that for the rest of the night. We're driving everybody <laughs> crazy. Um, I, I am intrigued, and you've most probably answered this hundreds and hundreds of times. But like I said at the beginning of the show, it's the first time that you and I have met. I mm-hmm. The name. How did you come up with that then? Chunky fettle is something people say in Wigan when they're in a good mood. They say, "What fettle?" All right. Uh, meaning fettle. Yeah. Tiddle, T-L-E, I suppose. And um, uh, if you're in a good mood, it's chunky fettle. So there you go. So that's so, it. So I used, started using that name as a uh, email address. And when I got in touch with Tim... I pinched it for the band name. He, just, <laughs> he pinched it and used it on a video and we've been stuck with it ever since. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, well, you learn something new every day. Uh-huh, what fettle? What fettle? Absolutely. Yes. absolutely. Um, well, I'm very uh, chunky fettle. Uh, hey, thanks very much. Good stuff. Now I heard that, definitely. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Rick in Warrington, by the way, who's uh, just texted me. He says, hi, Jason. Is the singer the same as the one in the... Uh, Lancashire hot pots. Or is that? A, or was you should mention them. No, no, no. no uh, uh, well, I've got a goat it, and they have a flat cap, so a similar in that aspect. Right. But, uh, well, that's no, about we it. did a gig with the hot pots the other weekend in Wigan, and they're a great bunch of lads. But no, they're from St Helens, we're from Wigan, and that's basically it, really. Fair enough. So you're proper Lancastrians, really. I suppose well, you could say. I suppose well, there's this big the debate bonus. on there. But well, there is. I know you're part of Greater Manchester, but you know, there's some people who say, "Oh no, we're I from Lancashire." I always put Lancashire down on my letters. Oh dear, yes. Right, I'm a traditionalist. Okay. Well, St Helens is Merseyside. 
<laughs> oh, uh, we're Rebe- looking through the glass. Re- Rebecca <laughs> Kelly, who's my producer, she's not happy. Mind you, nothing new there. Uh, so, uh, you're going to be performing another song from us uh, like, for yeah. us in just a few moments. Um, where can people come along and see you over the next uh, few weeks, possibly? Uh, well, we have, a, we have a website, which all the gig dates are listed on there. It's chunkinfeckle.co.uk. You can get some free MP3s on there if you want to. Um, but next Saturday, we're out on 28th of March. It's the Joseph's Gold Charity Ball down at the DW Stadium in Wigan. Uh, it's Wigan Athletics official charity and we're on with uh, Archie Kelly from Phoenix Knights I think he's little Kenny or big Kenny the one who tells loads of lies anyway yeah, on yeah. Phoenix Knights he's the main uh, uh, thing but you can go on to the Joseph's Ball charity website and tickets are available on there and then uh, the big one for us is the uh, Grand Northern Ukulele Festival fabulous which is 23rd 24th of May at uh, Huddersfield same again Look out for Gunuf, G-N-U-F, on the website and uh, get tickets for that and we'll see you down there in Huddersfield. Uh, you've got a Facebook page as well. We've, we've got, got loads Facebook of pictures. Page. And we've got a you. Facebook page called I'm From Wigan Me, named after that first song. And it's for anybody from Wigan, expats, anybody like that. Um, put your photographs. If you're looking for anybody who's lost and... Uh, just check it out. It's a great little site. I think we've got four thousand members on now. So. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, and you can follow us from all over the world. <laughs> that's it. Absolutely. Uh, I'm asking, by the way. Uh, I should have just warned you of this. Uh, of songs connected to the eclipse, which took place. Did you see it, by the way, today? I, I was asleep. I, I missed it. Yeah. I, I did see it. I dropped the lads off at school, and I had to go and do a bit of shopping. My wife left me a list, and I went into the store and come out. And the whole atmosphere had changed. It really? was a really bizarre light. The oh. birds were going mental. Really? Yeah, and oh. there was a sudden drop in the temperature, which is bizarre. So I run home, got into the shed, and I got my welder's mask out. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I went into me, yeah, I went into my lad's bedroom because the sun was direct, and I looked like Darth Vader with his welding mask on, <laughs> just staring at the sun. Brilliant. And, uh, it was brilliant. It yeah. was really, really good. But then I thought I better get some work done here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, did you say? Uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't see because of the clouds. So I watched it on Sky TV. Oh, right, yeah, that's the way. I saw it. Yeah, absolutely. So songs connected to the eclipse. No idea. Uh, but we've had yeah. total eclipse of the heart. Yeah. Hole uh, of the moon. Dark oh, side of the moon. No. I mean, I did like the advert for a certain biscuit once, where there was a teacher in a classroom. <gasps> oh yes, for uh, Jaffa cakes. That was it. That's the one. Whole moon. Whole moon. Half moon. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. <laughs> Listen, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure and to you have you in the Thank studio you tonight. Gonna... Uh, you're going to finish off with one more song. What's it called? It's called Party Feet, and this one is straight out of the taxi. Really? Yeah. Give me a little bit of uh, uh, behind the story on this. A, a, a young lady jumped in one night after she'd been on the town doing whatever they do. This is your taxi, and, obviously. Oh, jumped yeah, in the yeah. taxi, sorry, yes. Well, and um, and she came out with a statement that was too good to pass up, so a little bit later on I put it into a song, and it's called Party Feet. Right? Well, we, we, we sort of done this, and we always said, why do girls pay £100, £120? <laughs> and we did a gig once, and they said, try £1,200 for a pair of shoes. Yeah, yes. And it just killed them. And they kill them. <sighs> and you see them walking around with and carrying the shoes, and you're thinking, what's all that about? Anyway, this song explains all. That's why I always stick to my trainers. Off you go, guys. Ride 
learning how you pump piggyback. And then if that were a bloke, I'm just saying, he'd want his money back. Won't somebody please carry me home? Cause these new shoes, they've got me beat. I can't seem to stand on me own two feet. Never again, until next week. Nothing gives you the blues like party feet. Oh no! See a damsel in distress wearing sleep back shoes and a nice cocktail dress and she's screaming and hollering losing control the girl and angels have a troubled soul these new shoes they got me beat I can't seem to stand on my own two feet never again until next week nothing gives you the blues like party feet oh no Fabulous, <laughs> brilliant, absolutely great guys. Thank you, Chunk and Feckle, for joining us tonight. Thank you. And Thank uh, you very it's much, been Jason. an absolute joy. And you know, you've cheered me up. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank you, guys. Sir. Jason Hardy, BBC Radio Manchester.